in terms of technology, I think the actual acceleration is going to come when we put all these pieces together that are existing now. I mean, so we already have uh, things like deep learning that are making advances, but now what we are going to see is machines that can develop capabilities or understanding without being provided this information from the outside. And I think that in, in sort of classical machine learning or AI world, we would like to go from sort of supervised learning world where we are telling machine what to learn to a world where machine can infer things on their own. One of the big problems with deep learning the way we use it today is that we need huge amounts of annotated data. So like for speech recognition, which I think is really exciting because it's getting so good, uh, is one of the challenges there is that we don't just need the audio for the speech, we need a human to give us a transcription and that can be very expensive. Uh, so if you want to build a new application, you have to first think about where are you going to get all that annotated data for the thing you want to predict. So one of the things I think is really exciting is that unsupervised learning is starting to show some sort of very interesting results. Unsupervised learning is an algorithm or a class of algorithms that can learn to either make predictions or learn about your data set without being told uh, what to look for. We know that humans do this all over the place, like I have a young son and it's clear that I didn't have to tell him that this was a coffee cup a thousand times, he just knows that it's a cup after a couple of examples. And the reason that humans can do this is that we're learning from all the other things we're seeing and hearing and somehow fusing that uh, in, into our knowledge so that when you say that's a cup, um, I very quickly learned that concept. And we haven't quite made the last connection yet to figure out how to make all of our supervised systems, all of our predictions much better using these unsupervised technologies. I think if that happens, that'll mean we can harness new kinds of data and we can make much better predictions than we've done in the past. The talk that I gave you today about, um, about this kind of, uh, I call the dialogue system, some people call the bots, is really the, the same concept. How to have uh, agent, intelligent agent who's able to convert with the human, right? And that is the kind of problem not just big data can solve, and it not just the deep depth of the you know, neural network I can solve. It requires some very intelligent way of, um, uh, of interaction, right? and that's a different paradigm. It's called the uh, reinforced learning paradigm. Well, you know, the big thing in deep learning is deep reinforcement learning. So this is the things that have been winning, you know, the, the techniques that have been beating people at gameplay. So uh, reinforcement learning is at the end, you know, you want to get to a goal like putting something in a slot or getting, you know, a rat getting food. If you're doing a maze, you went left, right, left, right, left, right, found food. Well. That's when you get your signal, hey, I got food. You have to sort of remember and back, you know, uh, put that reward, uh, propagate it back in time so that you know, oh, it was, I should take a left here and a right here. And so, you know, that's what reinforcement learning is. It's, it's learning from these, you know, end rewards and, and being able to assign, um, and that signal, that learning signal back through that trace in time.